Welcome back to the program. Let's focus on agriculture in East Africa for the next couple of stories. Let's start in Kenya, where the fall army warm has arrived in one of the country's main bread baskets. CGTN's Vic Chega spoke to one of the affected farmers and filed this report. These are the telltale signs of the tiny but destructive fall army worm. The pest has made its way into Kenya in recent weeks and the results are already evident. Charles Weko is one of the first farmers to report the infestation. I don't see many prospects for this year's crop yield compared to last season's. There is a big difference. The armyworm has been making its way through the continent, laying waste to hundreds of thousands of hectares of farmland. Charles, like many other farmers here, has sunk a lot of money into his farm and it all seems to have vanished down the throats of the army worms. I took out a loan, but this pest has affected us and the acre fund still wants its loan repaid. If the government doesn't intervene, we might even be jailed because of how much we owe. The army worm is capable of laying waste to entire fields in a matter of days. It destroys the leaves of maize. It defoliates it rapidly and that is the part that is very critical for production of your, of your maize. There are a number of ways to deal with a pest or at least to minimize its effects. The use of pesticides, which is possible, again, but it all has its advantages and disadvantages. And um, of course, cultural control uh, is also key. Um, agronomic issues like um, doing things that will not also uh, rapidly facilitate the movement of the pest from one location to another. The Kenyan government is trying to raise awareness, teaching farmers how to tackle the problem. It has passed tracked since the outbreak. It has been able to buy chemicals to farmers, specifically halbas. We have done a lot of demonstrations with the farmers and a lot of sensitization. However, the high cost of pesticide means farmers are going to have to dig deeper. It's very expensive because a farmer is able to spend like $20 for one liter of that chemical. One liter is sufficient for 14 acres, but severe infestations require multiple resprays, and the pesticide has other negative effects. I was sick. My chest and kidneys were affected. I was bedridden for almost four weeks. The armyworm has already affected 2,000 hectares in this county alone. Farmers are doing the best they can to minimize the damage to their crops. Vic Chege, CGTN, Busia, Kenya.